Welcome to the home stretch here in this inaugural UFL season. The Michigan Panthers roll into this one. Only three games left with a three-game win streak while the Memphis Showboats try to turn things around before the regular season comes to an end. It is the Memphis Showboats at the Michigan Panthers. Memphis has given up 100 yards rushing in four of their last five games. We'll see if that is a trend that begins right here on the first series. And Michigan will have the ball first. Terry Wright spinning his way out to the 40-yard line. Done. Are you ready, sir? They fake the handoff. Malorki wide open along the sideline. Samson Nakua still fighting. Down to the 20-yard line. Big gain on the play. 31 yards. DC team. Are you ready, sir? They're working from the shotgun. Over the middle. All the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Cole Hicatini and Michigan scores on the opening drive again. You take a look at this split safety look, and then you're going to get the motion here, and you got the big outside move, and then you're able to just go right towards the middle. This is a beautiful job of one recognizing the defense, and then right off that middle linebacker, great job. Look at the middle of the field, that pump over to the left, and then it's wide open. That's a great route by Cole Hicatini. And so for they go after they go after the point after. No chance. Wes Hills slipped. Michigan going for the point after. Wes Hills, who's one of their two running back up, running backs up today, just hurt his knee apparently on that play and had to be helped to the sideline during the break. Yeah, he immediately reached for that knee, and you can see the pain on his face. And Wes Hills is, is part of this two running back tandem with Matthew Colburn that has been dynamic and very productive during the course of the UFL season. Really due to the fact that they have not been able to protect him, this offensive line gives up the most sacks in the league. And he's the most sacked quarterback. He goes to the air on the first play and connects with Daywood Davis. Bye-bye. And just like that, Memphis answers. So you're going to get the out, and then you're going to get the up. And watch right here as this safety is going to go up towards that tight end. And now the corner is one-on-one. -on -one. And that out route, the sell of the out route by Daywood Davis, that's what ultimately gets him open. The, he basically had two or three steps to that out route. And then Cookus just has to hit him. Nice throw there, and Daywood Davis goes the distance. With time, batted down and it falls incomplete. Not only with the UFL as a fan, but coming the regular season, of course, with the NFL. Yeah, I, I can't wait to, to hear that, obviously. I, I think I'm the same as all football fans. We can't wait to hear Tom in the booth calling the NFL action on Fox. Here's Terry Wright. I 38-yard line. Let's check in with Devin White after Case Cook is through his longest pass of the year for a score. Yes. Ready, ready, sir. He's the offensive coordinator with the Philadelphia Stars in the USFL the last couple of years, and Colburn picks up enough for the Michigan first down. Ready, ready, sir. Perkins stays in bounds, gets the first down. Shows what he can do with his legs there. And the chains move for Michigan. Ready, ready, sir. Colbert cuts it outside. What a move at the line of scrimmage. All the way down to the 12-yard line. Ready, ready, sir. Perkins steps up through the hands of Gray. Incomplete, and it would have been a score. And that's where you can get routes that are ready, jumped ready, right, right in that zone. And they can pick up a first down at the two. They go to the end zone. Some flags come out. After a little pushing and shoving, Anthony Butler there on the coverage of Colbert. Okay, motion the back out. Now he's got an advantageous matchup. Defense, he's working against a linebacker 50. who's not normally the out there. By rule, the ball is placed at the one-yard line. Automatic first down. Anthony Butler is like a fish out of water. A middle linebacker on the outside, outside the numbers, trying to defend a dropout curl right there at the goal line. And Colbert again, this time fighting his way into the end zone for the score.
visual player, and it looks like that's what he's doing. Ready, ready. Hands this one off, and not even close on this one, but the touchdown still stands. In for Kai Nakua in a big way. And Nakua leads the league in interceptions as well. He's out with a concussion. Pass. Caught. And that's Sage Surratt, the tight end. This front seven, probably the best in the UFL. And getting better every week. Here comes the blitz. Cook is on the run, throwing deep, underthrown, and picked off. Nate Brooks gets the interception for Michigan. And it's official. First turnover of the ball game goes in favor of this Panther defense. And that's what's been hurting Memphis and more specifically Case Cookis. Most turnovers in the league and individually most fumbles, most interceptions, nothing going right. Lewerke back in at quarterback for Michigan and he dives forward. Nine yards on the run and you can see through the gymnasium and into the quad. <laughs> Maybe some translation necessary for some viewers out there. Well, on that you one. know, I mean, I, I, I have quoted that movie before. Obviously, that's old school, and, and yes. there are people that are in there, you know. Ready, ready, set. On third and short, the worky, and just throws that one out of bounds. Pressure coming from Greg Reeves, and will bring up the first punt of the game. He's able to get back for the playoffs for Michigan. They already guaranteed their spot. They're playing right now, trying to get that number one seed. That was a free play, so this pick won't count. Offside, defense by the nose guard. Five yard penalty, replay third down. Cookus, flushed out, Papali. First down, Showboats. Kevin Hart, big football fan. And there's Darius Victor, another little guy. Ball comes out as he's tackled. Cookus, instead of falling on it, swats it out of bounds to save the day for Memphis. Illegal bat, offense number 10. 10 yard penalty, first down. Look, it's a 10 yard penalty, but they probably lose possession of the ball if he doesn't knock it out of bounds, Joel. So now it's third and 15. That could be a big five yards. Let's see. Pickens has the time, can't find a man open. He's being chased out of bounds, and so they won't convert the third down and wind up punting instead. They get it off. Quick pass. And that's St. Surratt, the tight end, and he stopped just shy of the stick, it looks like. Levante hey, Taylor with the tackle. Looking for it all on third down. Downfield, Daywood Davis tried to make the adjustment, can't. He's covered by Bryce Tornadin, and it falls incomplete. Are you ready, son? He keeps it in trouble. Tries to dive forward and get enough for the first down. Let's see where they spot this. It's going to be close. Around a guy, but when you're throwing to the left, you have to use that pump fake to try to get him up and then get it around him. Lewerke steps up. Hand fighting and it's picked off. No flag on the play as of now. Quentin Meeks with what looks to be a Memphis interception. Early on the field is an incomplete pass. It's third down. So they're saying he did not catch it, and Memphis wants to challenge it. Yeah, if you take a look at, at the end point of this, there's a lot of contact there, and then all of a sudden, are his forearms under that ball? It is tough to say. Okay. Hey, I'm Adam, gonna, we're going to review this. We're going to stop the game and review it. It's close for an interception here. Super challenge. The previous play is under further review. There's clear control before the ball touches the ground. And I don't have that here. I can see, look at both hands come off the ball. Both hands are off the ball. 
and it hits the ground there. So you just want to make sure. No, 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 this, this is, is the command, command center. center. Adam, okay, we're going to let the ruling on the field stand. It is an incomplete pass. Copy that. Third down. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Third. Next lap, brother. Ready, so instead, it's third long for Michigan. Milwaukee, oh, batted around. First sack of the game. Maximilian Roberts takes credit for it. Then Michigan answered that for a 12-6 lead, and that's where we are. With 157 left to go here in the first half. Cook is pressured, brought down, and sacked. Matthew Colburn is that running back. Instead, Perkins chased out of the pocket. He can be dangerous with his legs. First down and more. And he gets out of bounds. Yep. Ready, ready, sir. Inside a minute. Perkins again with room. Throws it this time, and it's complete. Avoided the rush and hooked up with Terry Wright. Backfield ready, is ready, empty. Sir. Perkins over the middle of the field, wide open, and all the way, Gray, touchdown, Michigan, right before half, they extend the lead on a 50-yard score, on a 50-yard TD pass from Perkins to Gray. And let's go back to that and look at those two safeties, so this is why I was talking about the middle of the field, they're going to be wide like that, you've got to exploit the linebackers who were low. And with low linebackers, two high safeties, Anthony Butler, number 50, he cannot defend the middle of the field. So as soon as you get over him, Gray is right there, and that's a beautiful throw. A great job by Bryce Perkins on time and on target, and that ball out in front of the face of Gray allows him to run through it. So the yards after the catch are crucial, and he gets into the end zone, and Bryce Perkins does a great job in that two-minute series driving his team for another score. Middle seam route. This is your guy. From the 15. Sims incomplete. Memphis will get the ball to start the second half. There's Cookus over the middle and he's caught. Sage Surratt into Michigan territory. They've still got one timeout as the clock, once they spot the ball, will begin moving again. 32 on that one. And he spikes it to stop the clock. Out of the backfield, Victor, and he's tripped up. Clock keeps moving down to four, three. Matt White with the hold. Coglin gets it off, and he gets it through. That's the Final play the of the quarter. half. Memphis. Yeah, that was, Devin, that was a polite way of being like, we're done here. <laughs> Here's Cookus. Has all kinds of time and runs out of it. Second sack for this Michigan defense. Garrett Marino brings him down. Cook has lost the shoe. And they're just being able to play so much coverage and of Case Cookus. They lose 10 yards on the opening play in the second half. Do we blame that on Devin? Here's Cookus going deep. Oh, what an adjustment and a cast by D. Anderson. And Cook has took a big hit after. He may feel better after looking at the replay screen and seeing that this worked out for 40 yards. I tell you, this was an, an incredible throw. Double move here. We saw this work early in the first half. That throw just on that outside shoulder right over the wide receiver's head. And how about the concentration from D. Anderson? That's about as difficult a catch as you can make straight down the field. And Cookus in the backfield took a big shot after he Please let go of that ball. To 32 seconds. 32 seconds on the play clock. Cookus couldn't even get over to the sideline. He was holding his ribs. Thank you. And getting some help from the training staff walking over to the sideline. But before he even made it, had to take a knee again. There's Josh Love. Was the starter for nine of the ten games for Michigan last season. Now comes in hoping for a little revenge. Here comes the blitz. Love. Hit as he throws. There's a flag in the secondary. 
Nate Brooks there on the coverage. Depending on when that ball was released. The 15 yard line. Pass interference. So, yep. Defense number three. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. He's going to have a corner here, and he's going to have something in the flat here based out of this exchange. He has time looking to the end zone, and it is caught by Davis. Touchdown, Memphis. Daywood Davis wins, and now it's just a matter of whether he controlled that while he was going to the ground. Definitely looks like he does. That's a solid catch. Holds on to it through that process. And that's a touchdown for Memphis. There's the control. We'll see if he's able to roll over, and that is confirmed. That is a touchdown and a beautiful drive right there. Good route. See that little inside move, and the easy, easy throw for the quarterback to just bring him kind of down near the ground, near the pocket. Going for two. And incomplete through the hands of Davis. He wants a flag, doesn't get it. But the touchdown makes it a three-point game. Porky and Bryce, they're doing a very nice job of kind of sharing those things and not keeping them a secret as Colbert hits on the left side here for the first down. They're not keeping it a secret. They're kind of sharing that information back and forth, so it's almost like they are getting those experiences. And they said, hey, we don't want to share. We want to try to execute within a rhythm, and, and he honored them. Lewerke with a big pass and a big catch. Trey Quinn, big game. Holding on the offensive line. Holding, offense number 79. 10 yard penalty, second down. Ready, ready, sir. They hand it off. Colburn. Let's see where they spot this. There's another flag down as well. What's your number? 52, defense. Sam. Personal foul, face mask, defense number 52. 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. You just can't avoid the face mask. Here's 52, Tyshawn Rinder, and there, there's the face mask right there. Ready, ready, set. Here we go from the 33. We're in and out of the hands of his intended receiver. And he misses it. First miss he's had at home all season long. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Looking for the 49 of Michigan, and they get it. Vinny Papali moves the chains for Memphis. Microphone all day long. Just take what the defense gives. Here's another blitz. Exchange messed up, but Love falls on top of it. And then double slants here. Love fires it, and it is caught by Anderson. The passing concept. Love throws up high, and it is caught. Jonathan Adams. He's seven for eight after that 11-yard completion. Darius Victor with the run, cuts it back inside the 20, down to the 18-yard line, his longest run of the day. And Needing a yard, Victor lowers his shoulder, fights his way, and gets two. And that's a first down for Memphis. He's not getting as much pressure, and he knows where his hots are, like we saw in the previous play. Here comes the blitz again on the 14th play of the drive. Batted down, and it will fall incomplete. Pressure got to him that time. Oh, my goodness. You're still inside 40 on the attempt, so shouldn't make a difference. We'll see. And it doesn't make a difference. We're tied again. Memphis, three consecutive possessions. They put up points. Have been almost unstoppable. And this Michigan team's got their work cut out for them. I, I don't know if they can rotate quarterbacks and beat the Stallions. Well, Perkins throwing like that to a wide open receiver will help. Trey Quinn is healthy or not. You got to look at Bryce Perkins at some point, maybe even Lewerke, and say to ourselves, do they give us the better option to win? In particular with this, guys, his ability to run, and we've seen that a couple of times. Moving on to the next play. Gets nine yards and a first down. Matthew Colburn through a hole. Colburn down inside the 20 and another Michigan first. Four in the fourth quarter, what do we see? Matthew Colburn. And he picks up 15 there, gets it again. Back-to-back -back plays and takes advantage of it.
Coburn down inside the 10. You know, Le'Veon Bell really was the first guy that got everybody's attention doing that at the NFL level. Perkins back in the end zone, caught for the score. Devin Gray and Michigan is back on top. An eligible player downfield. Offense, number 72. Five-yard penalty, first down. So it's still first and goal, but instead it's from the 13. Perkins brings it down, spins, got room. Down inside the five. Are you ready, a handoff, Coburn fighting into the end zone. Ready, ready, From two yards out, Perkins keeps it, and it was tipped at the line of scrimmage, and that was enough to prevent it from being caught. Tyshawn Render got a hand on it, and that was the difference. First and 15, let's come in. And it got there. Sean Mahone, the safety on the delayed blitz. By 80, what's that? On third and 20, Love sacked again. This time it's T.J. Carter. And that Michigan defense just shut the door. Terry Wright. Backed up, loses the football and wisely just dives on it to retain possession. Ready, ready, stop. From the 24, he hands it off to Colbert, cuts it back, first down, Michigan. Ready, ready, on the sneak. And it looks like they got enough. Win, Alex Magoo, we got... Martinez with Birmingham, and that's what it looks like. Complete control, able to control the game with your legs and with your arm when you need to, but more importantly, when you're when you're called on to make a play with your legs, he's able to do it, and, and this is without a lot of preparation, Joel. Yeah, yeah. You could lose, you could lose 10 seconds, you could gain time, so that's what we were just trying to figure out. All right, they got it figured out, and Michigan going for it instead, and looks like on fourth down, they got the first. Let's see where they spot this football. Quarterback sneak. They spot it. First down, ball game. Wow, that's the end of the game. And so Michigan gets its fourth consecutive win. They go to six and two on the year. They finish four and one at home.